Hey guys, welcome back. I figured today I would do a little bit of a get ready with me sort of every day. This is what I've been doing since being stuck in my house for 37 days type makeup that I would wear if I was maybe just going to the grocery store or just to my living room because that's what I'm actually doing. <laughs> so uh, let's start off with the skin. I've already prepped with all of my skincare. Everything's good in that regard. So I'm gonna go straight in with my face primer. Today I'm gonna to be using my tried and true, I use this literally every day, my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is gonna go everywhere and I like to apply this with my fingers. All right, primer's on, we're good to go. So the next thing I generally do in my routine is brows. So for a natural everyday look, I generally don't shape them out or make them really sharp like I normally would for a full makeup application. So I'm gonna go in with my stud brow pencil sans spoolie because I take that off intentionally so I can hold it strangely like this <laughs> and I'm gonna grab my little brow brush and comb my brows up and then I'll just run like literally directly under the brow to to kind of sharpen the shape a bit fill them in a touch and leave them just like that that's literally all I do for an everyday like supernatural makeup Like even just that gave them a little bit of extra oomph. So next I'm going to prime the eye because I always do my eyes before foundation. I'm super weird. I know some people prefer it one way over the other. I generally will do my eyes first because I cannot stand fallout. And I also have relatively dry under eyes. So doing the baking technique by putting tons of powder and shelving underneath the eyes is just not practical for me because my eyes are so dry that it literally like sucks the life out of my eyeballs and it's not a good look. So that's why I do my eyes first. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Anastasia brow. Anastasia Eye Primer, just on my ring finger here, and I'm going to tap that into the eyelid. Yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, and after the eyes are primed, I'm gonna jump in with an oldie but a goodie, Modern Renaissance. I haven't touched this guy in a while, so we'll give him a little bit of love. And I'm gonna pick up Raw Sienna on a Morphe M441 brush. I'm just gonna buff this into the crease very, very lightly. I'm gonna take off the majority of the product so there's only a tiny little bit on the end and just Buff that guy in the crease really, really lightly. <laughs> yeah, so it's really softly diffused. You almost really don't even see a lot of that color. I just want it to kind of define my eye just a touch. I'm gonna put a little bit of a lighter, lighter shade actually on my mobile lid just to give it some contrast. But for the most part, this is really all I'm gonna do on the lid. Awesome. Super light. Doesn't really look like much of anything, but it's there. If it wasn't there, it would bother me if my lids were just flat. So we gave it a little bit of something. I might actually, because I'm here and because I'm annoying and I, because I have the time, I'm going to take a MAC 221 teeny tiny little blender. I'm going to pick up a little bit of Wheelgar. There's that really warm, warm opposite end of Rossiana color. Pop that on the other corner. Why not? We're friggin' here. I'll take my tried and true big blendy, that Morphe one. But I'm officially gonna start calling this big blendy. And he's gonna go. Yeah, that's it for the most part. That's probably more than I would actually do on an everyday 
I generally will just do that like sort of warm sienna crease, the color in the crease. And then uh, today I'm gonna grab a little bit of Vermeer. Is that sort of light champagne-y color. I'm gonna wash that all over the lid, blend it into those two colors I've put on the lid, and that's it. So I'm oh, sorry, I'm taking that on a MAC 239 brush, so a flat sort of packer brush. And just run that all over the lid. That's it. That's it. Pretty soft, natural eye. And then just to define the lid a little bit, I'm gonna take a MAC 266. Little angled liner brush. Cypress Umber. Mixed with a little red ochre, why not? Keep the warmth in here. And I'm just gonna press that into my lash line. Again, speaking of lashes, if you've been here since I started this channel literally a week ago, you will know that I have one or two rogue lashes hanging out from my last lash extension show. Happy to tell you they're still hanging out. They're still living their best lives on my eyelid. I can't friggin' get rid of them. So they might be with me forever, which is great. So the next step would be complexion. Now for everyday complexion, again, I'm gonna keep it super basic and super natural for the most part. Let's go in with my under eye concealer. I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 5 Ivory. And just do 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 do. So I just ran downstairs and I'm out of breath. <sighs> Actually so gross. And I know for an everyday makeup, this looks like a lot of concealer. And you're right because 90% of it is going to be absorbed by my little beauty sponge. Being stuck in my house has caused me to literally break out everywhere here. Again, not that I'm going to say anybody, but. Let's just conceal my whole face. Yeah, perfect, okay. So now that I've got the concealer on, I'm gonna bounce it out with a beauty sponge, a damp beauty sponge. Not perfect, you know? Okay, I think that's blended sufficiently. We're good. And I'm gonna go in with my tried and true uh, Ordinary Serum Foundation. Did like one and a half pumps on my sponge. Dab here, dab here, dab here, dab here, dab here. And blendy blend. Let's go in and warm up the complexion a little bit. Cool. So I'm gonna take a very, very little amount of the translucent powder from Laura Mercier, and I'm gonna dip my brush also in a little bit of the mineralized skin finish from MAC in light, because I want even less coverage than this will give me on its own. So I'm kind of mixing the two. I know I make my own thumbnails, obviously for these videos, but sometimes, like if you've ever uploaded a video to YouTube, you know that it gives you, like YouTube generates um, thumbnails for you if you wanna choose one, like an excerpt from your video. And a lot of the time, I don't know who, like how the alg algorithm works, but sometimes they're actually friggin' hilarious. Like they'll pick the most ridiculous face you make in the video. Like last time 
I uploaded a video, they had chosen a section of the video for the thumbnail that was like me putting on mascara. So I was literally like, is, like why do they do that? It's almost like they know. They try to pick the spots in your video that you actually look the most stupid and the absolute worst. And they're like, yep, yeah, that's it. Use that one. Cool. All right. So the face is set, everything's good, skin still looks pretty natural. I've got a decent amount of coverage, but my skin tone looks even and it doesn't feel heavy. That's key, every day, it looks very natural. Anyway, next I'm gonna warm up the skin a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of my current tried and true favorite, the Butter Bronzer in Light by Physicians Formula. I freaking love this stuff. Same brush, still just gonna buff this on, starting at the top. This stuff literally smells like a vacation. So nice. And I'm gonna take this through the hairline because I've got literally a seven head. All right, okay, okay. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of color into the cheek and I'm gonna take my NYX Pink the Town blush on an Inglot Angled blush brush. Dust off the excess and pop him very lightly. This is like not pigmented at all, but it kind of works my favor today because I want it to be very sheer and natural. Does it look good from far away? Sure, so it doesn't look good from close up, but that's neither here nor there. That's not the makeup swap. Highlighter time. I want my skin to look super ultra dewy and ultra glowy, so I'm kind of in a fight between which one I'm going to use, and I'm probably going to use both, so here we go. I'm going to take a little bit of the Annabelle. I did this and I tried this for the first time in my Made in Canada video, the Annabelle Bouncy Shadow. I love this as cheek highlight, so I'm going to take a little bit of this and press that with my finger on the top of the cheek. Cool, so that's a very sheer, light base for my highlight. And now I'm gonna... Cool, so that's a very sheer, light base for my highlight. And now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a combination of Silver Desk and Golden Bronze Loose Powder Highlights from MAC. I like to use them wet so they're not super glittery. They just kind of melt into the skin a little bit more. And I'm gonna press that right on the top of the cheek. And the reason I use them both, which I'm, I think I explained in another video, but Golden Bronze is kind of a darker bronzy tone and it's a little bit too dark for me to use as a highlight on its own, but Silver Light, or Silver Desk, sorry, is silver and light. So I kind of combo them together to get the benefits of both, and I create my own custom sort of highlight color. That's got a little bit of a bronzy shift to it. Spray it if you need to. Get your hair out of your mouth. And we're good, I think. Cool. Yeah, that melted it into the skin nicely. I think I'm happy with that. Looks pretty natural for the most part. And now I'm going to go in for lip. And I'm going to keep this super simple. MAC Prep and Prime Lip. and Love Nectar Lip Glass. Just like that. So 
So to finish off the eye, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna line them just a touch with a little bit of shadow. So I'm taking that MAC 266 again with the raw sienna, and I'm just gonna run that underneath the lash line on the bottom just lightly. Don't get crazy now. It just kind of frames the eye a little bit so it doesn't get lost in the abyss of my flat face. Cool. And then last step of this whole thing, mascara. Back extended play. And wiggle that into my soul rogue lash extension that's still left on this eye. I really like this mascara for natural looks because it really separates my lashes, makes them look kind of spidery. All right guys, well that's it for the most part for my everyday sort of natural being stuck in my house type makeup. This is something that I'd wear if I was just running out to do errands or things like that anyway. But since I've been at home for 37 straight days, this is what I've been pretty much doing. If I wanted to throw on a little bit of makeup to feel a little bit better, this is generally what I will do. And if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, you wanna see more videos like this, sort of candid, not over edited type chat with me videos. Let me know in the comments below, but until next time, I'll see you then. Bye!